Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a couple of days to get uh, this video up on the uh, YouTube here, but this guy has been down and out for a couple of days with the flu. So I'm just getting back around and I did tell you in my last video that uh, I was going to get the window switches and the headlights into the old car, uh, which you see behind me. So that's what we're going to do today. So stay Guys, it's Monday. I think we jumped from spring right into fall. 35 degrees. Burr. Well guys, I figured I should give you an update on the dog situation. For those of you who are new to the channel, about a month ago we rescued a dog from Texas and we went to Vermont to pick up that dog and I will put a card in the top of this video so you can follow that. We do understand that when you get a new dog, there are some challenges that you have to deal with. A new environment, uh, new food, new people. It's been a month and she does not like my son Alex. It's been a month and she doesn't like the food that we feed her. Last week I bought some different food and it's been doing nothing but giving both of our dogs the runs and sometimes they don't make it outside. Um, they don't make it to tell us that they have to go. So it is being a little bit of a struggle. It's uh, the last three nights in a row. The uh, She's had me up in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom. She goes out, she has the runs. Uh, she comes back inside and she's good for a little while until you know a couple hours later she starts whining because she's, you know, I'm sure she's probably crampy. And uh, then we have to, I have to, take her outside uh, in the middle of the night. So it's not been fun. It has been quite a challenge. And between my wife and I, this dog is really be <laughs> becoming uh, a wedge between us. It's um, uh, been very stressful. So we're going to go back to the old dog food. We're going to try that in hopes that that helps them with uh, their regularity and uh, see what we can do there. But I don't know. I know we're supposed to give them quite a while to uh, acclimate to, to new surroundings, but this lack of sleep is really becoming old. As you know from my last video, I had to make a trip into Service New Brunswick uh, Department of Motor Vehicle for a very pleasurable experience. Um, I had to go in again this morning. It was brought to my attention that I forgot to renew our dealer plates. We've got four of them. And uh, they always expire on the 31st of March. And in case you haven't checked the calendar yet today, I believe it's the 16th of April. So, uh, went in, pretty well lickety split, got them renewed, no issues, no, not very much weight. So yeah, it really is hit or miss at the DMV. Well, we ordered some new flags, some custom flags for uh, the lot for decoration. Much like those ones there, only they are custom with our logo on them. They showed up today and the logo was wrong. It just certainly wasn't the design that I approved, so I emailed the guy and he's going to fix them. But i got to send these ones back before they'll make us other ones. We do have a trade show coming up on May the 4th, and the idea was to have these new ones with our logo on them before that. So I'm heading down right now to the Courier Depot to get these uh, couriered out right away so that he can get started on the process. Alright, so we've got our confirmation. We've sent that off to the company and hopefully they can get started on that uh, those new flags right away. And I hope we can get them before the trade show in two and a half weeks. Almost three weeks. Okay guys, I do have my new window switches, one for each the driver and passenger side door. Uh, I explained earlier that I've had troubles with these switches in the past and in fact on the passenger side there is no switch. So the goal for the day is just to swap these out in hopes that they fix the intermittent problems that I've been having. Uh, granted, you know, this car is a uh, 79, so it's, uh, what, 29 years old. And it's bound to have a few little issues and uh, nothing that I haven't put up with for quite a while. So let's get to it. 
So these switches are just held into the bezel by a little, you know, a little bit of pressure here. They just kind of lock in. So what I've got to do is I've got to be able to pop this out, hopefully without breaking it, with a flat screwdriver. So I've done this so many times in the past. I know that I just kind of get in here, give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a tug, and uh, they'll pop right out. I hope you can see here that, I've, that I do have some electrical tape on this connector here and the reason why I've done that in the past was because when you take the <coughs> when you take the plug in off the back it's just this little plastic piece here and I've had it apart so many times that it won't hold itself together anymore so I had to stick some uh, black tape on there. So now that we've got that one off, we can just plug this one in. And before I, before I button everything up, I'm going to hook the battery up and just make sure that this window is working for this side as well as controlling the other side. by the sounds of things a low battery in the car causing that one to go up slow but it does work so we will just snap that back into place boom done so you can also see some of these scratch marks here this door panel used to be red and all I did was I took some vinyl paint um, this part here used to be blue and I've connected a blue piece with a red piece because the other one was beat up pretty bad. I took some vinyl paint, scuffed it up and painted it. But it's been probably about 10 years since I've done anything with this car as far as the interior goes. So it's starting to uh, peel off. I mean that was all dry. It was like baked. You know, you'd write your name in it with your finger type of thing. So one of the goals for this year, and I don't know how soon it's going to happen, but one of the goals for this year is to get some something new done to these panels. Now whether I do some reupholstery or I scuff them up, paint them one more time just to get me through for a little while, um, but nevertheless I do plan on getting something done with these door panels. So we'll just go over to the other side and we'll fix that switch and it's basically the same as this so I won't bore you with that. Okay so now we're going to change up the headlights. Very simple project, it's not very difficult. What we have right now are just your standard Sylvania seal beam bulbs. Uh, dual headlight and what we're going to be putting into it are these replacement halogen bulbs and I don't know if you can see it in there or not but there's a little bit of a blue tinge which means when the lights come on they're gonna be a brighter white than what the standard seal beam is going to be seal beams generally gave off a yellow light these ones are going to give off a white light so most people that meet me on the highway are going to complain that they're too bright but guess what you're not the one driving this car. So this is what we're going to be putting into them and uh, these are made up basically of a seal beam style frame and inside is just a standard H4 style headlight bulb, a uh, halogen. So let's get these put in and then I'll give you, a, I'll show you the difference between the driver side and passenger side when I get one side done you can see the difference in the light.
Alright, so there we have it. So now we'll turn the headlights on, you can see the difference. So there's the old, and there's the new. So on the left we have the old seal beam, and on the right we have the halogen. So we'll finish up, we'll put the bezel on this side, and then we'll go ahead and do the other side. Well there, headlights are in, bezels are all back together. Now we just got to get the uh, dynamat put back in. Hopefully we get some nice weather shortly so that I can get, uh, get driving this car. But, as it sits right now, there's nothing stopping us from doing a little cold start. Put the battery back up. Open the garage door. we got those two little projects out of the way it was something that I've been putting off for quite a while as soon as I get the dynamat laid in the car and the interior back in we'll be able to get this thing out and do some test drives so I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing on my channel we're getting so close to those 100 subscribers as it sits right now we are at 93 so come on guys let's get this channel to over a hundred and beyond and hopefully we can start getting some uh, more content in there. Dad will be working on his 36 Dodge project once again. Uh, things are picking up at the shop, so it's been quite busy. Haven't had time for the uh, small projects. But nevertheless, we've got lots of new cars coming in, lots of cars going out. As always, if you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, I'll share them right here. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next upload.